Hello, you fabulous divine creature. Happy December. Here is your December astrology. In the meantime, have you watched Written in the Stars Discovery Plus? You can also find it on Sky and Amazon Prime. I'm so proud of it. I hope you get a chance to watch it. Give me your feedback and share if you love it. This month, one of the main things that's happening is Jupiter is going back into Aries. So even though Mars is retrograde and we're a bit like, Ugh, the our energy is maybe a little bit frustrated, Jupiter can give us a different set of wings and we can start to feel passionate about the future again. Mercury does go retrograde at the end of the month. So sort things out before that. Here's your monthly astrology. Hello, gorgeous Pisces. How are you doing? My magical, sensitive, divine Pisces. I bring you tidings of joy. Now, Neptune, your ruler, is going direct. I have to say, though, you know, I've got five plants in Pisces, so I am really pay attention to what Neptune's doing. When Neptune does go retrograde, we can stop fantasizing and put plans into action. That's great and that's good for you and you might have achieved quite a lot since Neptune's been retrograde. But the beauty of your soul is that you're a dreamer. You're a little oh, magnificent, magical being that, could, that can see things and experience things with deep sensitivity. So you're going to feel more like yourself. Be, beware that you can conjure up interesting experiences. Don't let your sensitivity get the better of you and make you just feel hurt and in pain. Allow the magic to seep into your heart and use it to your advantage. Anyway, let's start at the beginning. At the beginning of this month, actually, you're thinking about work, career and practical things. Not necessarily like you, but you will do really well by focusing on those things at the beginning of the month because Venus the planet of love and abundance is in your career zone. Now, for those of you who are retired or not working, it's about how, what you want to put out there in the world, what it is that you want to express externally, how you are perceived, your reputation, stuff like that. So it doesn't have to be about work. It can be about those other things. Anyway, you might be really excited to do something at the beginning of this month and you might decide to commit to something. You know what? You might even decide to commit to something that's like your spiritual practice. You might decide that you, you want to um, do something like take your favourite thing like, I don't know, reading the tarot, painting and drawing, whatever it is that's more that you feel connects you, that opens up your soul and inspires you. You might think about doing that as a career or finding a way where you can integrate your career with the things that you love, that bring you joy, that you're really good at. And you have faith in whatever it is that's important to your soul and spirit. And with Neptune Direct, you know, you are, you are ready to start dreaming about possibilities. And when you, my magical Pisces, dream about things, you can actually call them into being. You are one of the most magical signs. So exciting. You know, what do you want to dream into being? What spells do you want to cast? What is it that you want to draw towards you? If I could say, okay, in a year's time, what wonder surrounds you? Think about it and then allow yourself to go towards it because you have the practical skills now. Uh, Mercury is entering Capricorn and swiftly followed on the 10th by Venus. And this makes you feel much more sociable. You might have found yourself just focusing on your career or focusing on things that are... Uh, you know, that you have to get done. And then you're going to be like, no, I want to mix with my friends. Who we mix with is so important, you know. It impacts our energy. Other people are contagious. That's actually been researched and proven. We are deeply affected by who we mix with. So find people that inspire you or on the same wavelength, who encourage you and believe in you. And you could have like amazing results. It's also a great time to put things out online. Other people are receptive with your Venus and Mercury there. When you speak, other people want to listen to you. But again, gather the right people around you and obviously present yourself as you truly are and, and, and who you want to be. Don't hide in the shadows. Now is the time to get out there and to enjoy it. Whether you do that at home uh, with your computer or whether you do it out there literally in the world, there's lots of wonderful feelings of being at one. Now this full moon is all about your home and family and there may be a peak dream, synchronicity or inner knowing, a deep intuition about what you need to do in those areas. Whether that's moving, whether it's shifting your environment, whether it's 
cutting someone out of your family, inviting someone in in your family. The intuition will be strong. Now bear in mind that Mars, the planet of action and anger, is retrograde at the moment, going backwards. It's a bit, a bit wow, angsty. Is right with that moon. So that is a cosmic explosive cocktail right there because there's this, you know, our unconscious and our sensitivities are always on the surface with the full moon. And then Mars is right on there going. Rrr. So there could be a, a volcanic explosion. For some people, it will be a volcanic explosion of love, lust and desire. For other people, it will be like rrr. there's someone like a flatmate bothering you or something connected to your home and family that's bothering you that it might all kick off. So, you know, use those other skills you've got to navigate that. Fingers crossed it will be OK for you. Then we have the new moon is a different kettle of fish. It's very optimistic for you. So the new moon on the 23rd is very positive. It offers you a chance to step into your power, to know who you are within the whole, to value your space in that whole, because actually you are a vital cog in the wheel of life. Without you, millions of coincidences wouldn't happen. Without you, you know, and your beautiful effect, it's like the film, It's a Wonderful Life, you know? I don't know if you've ever seen that film. It's a Christmas film. You can watch it now because we're in Christmas season. But it's about somebody who feels like ending their life. And then an angel comes down and says to them, OK, this is what the world would be like if you hadn't existed. And that person did not realise all of the, millions of people's or thousands of people's of lives would have been changed if his influence hadn't been there. What was his name, darling? Do you know? I speak to the wife. What's the name? She does not know. <laughs> we do not know. Who? I've forgotten. In, in It's a Wonderful Life. I don't like that film. It is my favourite film because it's got the most deepest spiritual message. Anyway, just like, Clarence was the angel, I remember that much. Just like that film, your energy touches people's hearts and you're important. Use it now. Honour it now. Decide what people you want to mix with because that new moon is a new start and head towards your destiny, which should be on another level because it's a new moon we're shifting things up now as we move to the end oh hold on a minute um yeah as we get to the end of the month we have mercury retrograde so there's a lot of confusion about anything you want to say commit to put into action do it before the 29th when things get a bit murky things get a bit messy and in fact you might kind of you know have some issues about what you are putting out there in the world. Get it all sorted out before then, and then the magic can be awakened. Awaken? George uh, Bailey. George Bailey. Anyway, I love you. I am sending you so much love. You take care, magical one. Look after yourself. I'll speak to you soon. I've had my psychic company for over 20 years. I've always been exceptionally picky about who I have on my team. My psychics are incredible people. They're all emotionally intelligent. They give a very accurate and specific reading and they're all beautiful and different in their own right. So we got our fabulous psychics here. My psychics go through five rigorous tests, including one with me. And then we get to meet. I love meeting the readers. And we make a film showcasing their unique skills. Sharon P. Hello. <laughs> We're doing filming. So are you uh, excited? Just relax, be yourself. Open up your heart. So if you feel that you're accurate, you're emotionally intelligent, and your heart really wants to empower your clients, then we'd love you to apply and come for a test with us.